Hey everybody, uh, here with Robin. Just going to go over fundamental today. A lot of people when they do stand up grappling immediately look for position. They'll cling on to things. Um, you see it on the floor as well. Grappling, striking, grapple to strike is what we try and do, which means you, you control a position and then hit them off it. Is It's important to look at the fundamentals of the position. In other words, is my position good? Is it stopping him doing what he wants to do? Or is it making the option of doing what he wants to do a bad option? So we're going to use the front headlock or stocks position to just to demonstrate this. So if I come to here and I've got a position where I snap Robin's head down, usually it'll go on one side or the other. You want a side where it can guide through. So it's going to go on this side on this occasion. So I've snapped it down. And what I want to do here, if I put his head down, People often go straight into a guillotine or something like that and immediately start pulling up. Well, he can defend this all day. And if I miss it, he can push forward, he can put me off balance, he can get my legs. There's lots that Robin can do. So here when I snap it down, the moment I get the position on, I'm thinking about stopping him coming forward. The best way is to push between his legs, put him on his heels. I want to stop him going down to the floor. So I'm going to put my thumbs through here, I can control an arm instead if I want. Um, and I want him to, to not stand up with me. So I don't want to give him an easy option of standing up out the back. So what I'm going to do when I come in here, we're going to snap down, I'm going to immediately put my chest, pigeon chest in, and I'm going to press towards his heels. This makes it difficult for him to push forward. I'm going to lift his up slightly, like I'm making little thumbs. Can you see how I'm pushing him over? He's going that way a little bit. There. And I do that so it makes it difficult for him to drop. And if he drops, he becomes vulnerable to this steering wheel. Yeah? See how vulnerable he becomes as I start to move him around in the steering wheel? I won't do that again for a minute, all right. And of course, because my weight's over him and my chest's over him, it's difficult for him to stand up. I'm keeping my elbows closed. If I open an elbow, he might get out but I'm going to keep my elbows nice and closed. Now, once I've got an element of control, I can then start to work the control. I may want to do something nasty. I may want to step off it and claw, grab the head. Um, obviously, it's not allowed in some things. I may want to, to control where he goes. I may want to put him on his heels and he pushes back. I may want to control him down and move him over to one side. I may just want to walk him into the nearest wall. Because here, it's difficult for him to respond to it. Because I've got the chest position. But the important thing is, I've stopped him doing what he wants to do, or made it a bad option, and that just goes through everything that you need to do. Have a think about that. Hope it helps. Please subscribe, or send money, or both. Have a great day.